Now, I never thought I'd be saying that kale is potentially carcinogenic, but in a recent interview, Dr. Greger shared something pretty shocking. So in this video, we're going to hear about some research he discovered, but also thankfully the simple fix to the problem. So before we hear that clip, we need to understand what polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are. They're a type of chemical that occur naturally in gasoline, coal and crude oil, and result from when we burn gas, oil, coal, wood, tobacco, etc. They also form when we cook meat and some other foods with high heat. The carcinogenicity of long-term exposure of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons appears to be well established in the scientific research although it's worth mentioning that this was in laboratory animals. But researchers have found an increased incidence of lung, skin, liver, bladder and stomach cancers. So what's this all got to do with kale and other leafy green vegetables? And doesn't this fly in the face of the studies that have shown kale and other cruciferous vegetables lowering cancer risk? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger. You know, it's interesting, when I was looking up uh, polyaromatic hydrocarbons, one of the highest levels was broad leafed vegetables like kale it's like this carcinogen that's found in like barbecued meat and on kale why it's because it's from diesel exhaust it's internal combustion engine that goes up and it falls on these broad leaf vegetables but it can be washed off it's just on the surface so that's why it's important to wash off our fruits and vegetables but to see like one of the highest levels of carcinogens and one of my favorite beloved vegetables i was all upset but of course it's not actually in the vegetable it's on the vegetable that's why we need to rinse even our organic greens because if there's a highway next door yeah, you didn't spray pesticides from it, but these these particles can fall on it. And so, look, we live in a in a polluted world that it's hard to get away from. Air pollution causes millions of deaths every year, and there's things we can do to rev up our detox enzymes by eating broccoli, etc. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.